I am Justin Giersdorf, Recruiting Coordinator for Emerging Health Partners. And I'm Oren Jackson, External Recruiter for Emerging Health Partners. Justin and I are here today to walk you through our application process and discuss with you some other career opportunities that you might be interested in. So follow us and we'll walk you through it step by step. So before I get into the nuts and bolts of the actual application itself, let me tell you a little bit about the type of person we're looking for. We are looking for motivated self-starters that can think on their feet and improvise. There you go again, Justin. Talking people up before you even tell them how to apply. Follow me and I'll give you the information. First of all, you want to go to our website, emergenthealth.org. Once you get there, just simply open up the menu in the upper right corner. In the menu, click on careers. You'll be taken to our careers page. Once you land there, you can do a couple of things. One is you can jobs by location, or you can just simply submit a general application. While you're in our system, you want to make sure you create a profile for yourself. This will allow you to get back in the system later, just in case application changes are needed. We know the application might seem kind of long, but we don't ask you anything that's not important. Come on, Justin. Got to get more than that. When did I hear back from you? What happens next? I was getting to that. OK. You know what? I'm going to just show them. After submitting your application, you should receive a confirmation email verifying that it's been received. If you don't receive that email, please reach out to us so that we can make sure there isn't a problem. If you meet all the qualifications, we'll reach out to you by phone or email to discuss the possibility of an interview. After you've applied online, you'll get a confirmation email that lets you know we've received your application. If you don't receive the email, please reach out so we can make sure there isn't a problem. If you meet all the qualifications, we'll contact you by phone or email to set up an interview. For EMS license applicants, the interview also includes a multiple choice exam, so you should plan on being here for about an hour and a half. In order to demonstrate that you can do the minimum requirements of the job, we do an agility test. The first step of the test is performing continuous single person CPR for eight minutes. The next step is lifting a patient onto a stretcher and then raising the stretcher. Third is moving a patient on an auxiliary stretcher or backboard to a specific location. Finally, we have you load and unload a patient from the rear of the ambulance. Well, now that we've covered the basics, it's time that we show them the good stuff. One thing that separates us from a lot of different EMS agencies is the opportunities to practice on different specialty teams. For instance, we have a hazardous materials team, we have an honor guard, we have tactical EMS, and also a bike team. Have a good day, guys. Well, now you've seen everything you need to see to start your career at Emergency Health Partners. We've discussed the basics of the application process and also the minimum employment requirements. And the opportunities that exist for career advancement once you start it. So on that note, let me thank you from Oren and myself as well as the rest of the Emergent family. We wish you the best of luck and we hope to see you soon.